Again, in John 5, 17, Jesus said, Do not think, don't even think that I, Jesus, have come to destroy the law of Moses and the other prophets that came before me. No, I have come to fulfill, and I'm telling you, heaven and earth shall pass, but not a single dot from the book of Moses should be canceled until all is fulfilled. And whosoever, I'm warning you, Israel, whosoever cancel a single law from the book of Moses will become the least and whosoever do the law of Moses will become great. He said he didn't come with a new religion. <laughs> he didn't bring a religion. He came to follow the law of Moses. He didn't eat pork. He didn't do this and that and this and that. Anything that the Torah said don't do, he said did not do. And he never created anything. He just came to bring the Israelites back online. Musaddikan lima bayna yidayi mina Torah. In Matthew 19.16, a man came to Jesus Christ. He was walking in Jerusalem. And the man rushed to him. He said, Oh, good master, tell me, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, I have met you. Good master, tell me, what good thing must I do to enter heaven? Man, I want to go to heaven. I don't want to burn in hell. You tell me, good master. Jesus was angry at those statements. So why do you call me good? Come on, man. Don't start elevating me. Even goodness, Jesus rejected. What is that call me good for? Subhanallah. Me, I'm a humble servant of Allah. Why does that call me good for? Look, the only one that is good is the one in heaven. He is good. Me, I'm a human being. You calling me good? Then the man insisted. He said, if thou want to enter life, eternal life in heaven, entertainment, enjoying. If thou want to enter heaven, keep the law and the commandment of Moses. He didn't say, you know what, uh, wait. In about two days, I'm going to die and my blood is going to cleanse you up. He didn't say that. He said, you want to go to heaven? Keep the law and the commandment of Moses. And the man said, Master, what is the law? And Jesus said, Thou shalt worship the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your might. Thou shalt not bow down to any, you know, God. Thou shalt not worship any God in the heaven above, in the earth below, in the depth of the ocean. Thou shalt not carve out any graven images. For the Lord thy God is a jealous God who visit the community first, second, third generation. Subhanallah. Serious business. Serious business. No statue. No bowing down to anybody. The unseen God. This is Jesus Christ. This is Islam. And I'm giving you a good news, O Israel. Good news. After I go. After but if he come with a clear cut evidence and truth, you will say, that's a lie. We don't believe you. Jesus, he knew they would say that. So how do we buttress this argument? Did Jesus say, Holy Spirit, with his mouth? Did he say, Holy Spirit, after me, Holy Spirit will come? Did he actually say, Holy Spirit? No. What did he say? Did he say, comforter? <laughs> no. He never spoke English. There was no English at that time. English is one of the latest language. They were, they were speaking Slavic. Slavic looks sort of like English. It wasn't polished like that. There was no English around Jesus at all. So he didn't say Holy Spirit. He didn't say Holy Ghost. He didn't say comforter. He didn't say Athlete. But he said something. I'm looking for that something. What did he actually say? The Quran said, Mimbadi ismuhu Ahmad. The Quran is in one position. Jesus said, Ahmad. They said, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, this, this. But we know Christ didn't say Holy Spirit with his mouth. Holy Ghost. He didn't speak Hausa. He didn't. All what he spoke is Aramaic. Aramaic is a colloquial of the Hebrew language. 
So now we're going to do some mathematics, some linguistic analysis to see what did he actually say for them to translate into this and that and this and that and this and that. 